Yeah? A friend of mine called up and he's lonesome, see? His wife is out of town and he wants somebody to go places with him. Cute. I'd like to kiss you, but I just washed my hair. Bye. Okay, Fred. You can check the wings and halo at the desk. I'll be right up, Bandy. Dennis. Of course, there's always sex. How do you feel about sex, Potter? Or, uh... Do you? At this hour of the night, sir? It would be almost impossible to know. Anything else you guys want? Yeah, give me a big slice of you on toast and some French fried potatoes on the side. Listen, baby, I'm APO. What does she mean, APO? Ain't putting out. Kid, that's some run you've got in your stocking. Where? Oh, gee. Now, wouldn't that give you a pain? And I just put them on clean this morning. I'll buy you a new pair if you let me put them on for you. Hey, listen, one more crack like that out of you and you'll get a good smack in the face. Have you had any experience? Plenty. You see, the psychology of these pep meetings is to work up enthusiasm. Are you naturally enthusiastic? Ah, uh, you were wonderful tonight. I'm always wonderful at night. <laughs> Come on, put him around me. Excuse me. Hello, Jake. What's on your mind? I want to see you a minute, Jenny. Well, are you satisfied? You know what they say about men with bushy eyebrows and the long nose? Oh, Queenie, I can tell you've been married before. <laughs> I see a man in your life. What, only one? You remember Ann Lowell? Not any time Annie. Say, who could forget her? She only said no once, and then she didn't hear the question. Thanks for a very pleasant breakfast, Mr. Dwight. You must come again sometime, Miss Dennett. May I use your private elevator, sir? If you don't, I'll never ask you for breakfast again. I'll use your private elevator. Oh. Well, it's better to be looked over than overlooked. <laughs> future where the primroses grow and pack your man's pride with the rest and from now on you're the only man in the world that my door is closed to i am delighted i have heard so much about you yeah but you can't prove it ladies you are welcome here you are welcome to see our little review and learn how you too can become a miss america Just keep on doing what you're doing, although it's leading me to ruin. Just keep on doing what you're doing, you don't know what you're doing to me. these days to sleep informally. What if there'd be a fire? You'd have to cover up to keep from being recognized. Oh, don't be embarrassed. You can't show me a thing. I just came from the delivery room. What's 
this. Well, when I did that, I was hot. Take off your clothes. Get in here and tell me all about it. Hello, Mr. Anderson. Oh, it's you. I didn't know you with all your clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> souvenirs, souvenirs. You must have some very interesting experiences. Oh, sure. My life is just one hotel room after another. It took more than one man to change my name to Shanghai Lily. The girl who rents one of my apartments was arrested for tapping on a window. Can you imagine? A girl in jail for tapping on a window? One of my windows? One of your windows? It's three o'clock in the morning. Where do you want me to go? Go to listen, you chief stenographer. Outside, Countess. As long as they have sidewalks, you've got a job. Oh, hello, Mickey. Ah, Lady Lou, you're a fine gal. A fine woman. One of the finest women ever walked the streets. <laughs> Be boys. Oh, Minnie. Pa. Ah, what an exquisite spectacle. Two ladies of title kissing one another. She is caught in a whirl of bohemian life. Inhibitions go. Poof. She finally succumbs to the charm of an artist. She what? Succumbs, you dope. Huh? She quits stalling. Oh. What's all this? Oh, this is a true life picture for a true life story. Passion Slave, it's called. What are you doing here, Sally? Mr. Healy says I'm battling for my honor. <laughs> That's all I know. Rain he had. Marvin. Madge. Well, when I'm good, I'm very good. But when I'm bad, I'm better. <laughs> 